Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Redstone 4 build to look at. This is 17123. And um, get to the end of Redstone 4. Still the watermark is there. This is the Spring Creators update, it should be called. Um, so they could remove the, the watermark through uh, an update. I think we'll probably get at least another one build. They've actually introduced a new feature right at the very end of this development process, and that's a, a support for Windows High Efficiency or High Efficiency Image File Format. Um, photos. This is high definition photos with better uh, compression um, form features than JPEG or GIF or PNG. So for this to work there's a few steps I had to go through. You need to make sure you've got the latest photo app installed and you also you need the um, image, the high image in extensions installed which I think are 79p if you want to if you want to buy those. Uh, I've already bought them but um, you need that uh, installing so I've got that done and then uh, I can view an image like this so good that it's supported um, I'm not sure why you have to buy those codecs but y you do and then uh, you can view those images other than that the changes is good, good news for Windows Mixed Reality users they fix the ambient sound in Skyloft They've uh, fixed launch in store from movies and TV app so it shouldn't crash and they fixed 360 videos rendering in Microsoft Edge. There are a couple of known issues still though. They've got um, performance issues with uh, hybrid laptops. In some cases the inbox uh, apps may fail to load and holograms may be empty and you've got to restart Windows min uh, Mixed Reality for that to work. And there may be a long delay when switching between the Skyloft and the Cliff House. So still some issues there, but they're getting through those. I guess they're just trying to get those fixed before general release. Okay, other changes in this release. They fixed the issue with Dolby Access app. They fixed uh, the kernel error. Um, they, make, they fixed some green screen death. And they fixed an issue with the embedded handwriting panel. In fact, what they've done is um, they've made it so that if you do a clean install or upgrade from the full creators update to this build, the handwriting panel, you get this, that's turned off. Um, so that's where you can handwrite in a box. I haven't got my pen on the moment, but um, say I, if I went up here and started with a pen, it, would, it pops up and I can start keying in inputs. I've shown that on a previous video. Um, that won't be on unless you're an insider been testing these versions of it. For, so I guess that'll go into Redstone 5. Only one known issue, if you've linked your PC um, for notifications, with this with previous builds that's um, they've been disconnected so you've got to go and relink your phone so it's asking me it's going to ask me to relink my phone so that's it that's the changes with this with this build very close to release still a few issues but they're getting there uh, so that's 17 to 3 for windows insiders on the fast ring and uh, look out for our next video on the or our youtube channel